Hello everyone! Welcome to Rob's Game Corner, my little friendly corner in the world where I play games and you watch and you laugh at me and you cry with me and you know, the works. Welcome to Season 4 of Backyard Baseball 2001. Oh, it's been a while since we heard those words, but I thought I'd get a little early start to the baseball season with pitchers and catchers, and we're pretty much in the single digits now with pitchers and catchers so close. Actually, they've already reported by the time I uploaded this. So, welcome in, everybody. I'm just going to say this. This season has me excited and nervous at the same time. So... Everything's been randomized already. The team name, the team colors, and the field. The team was already predetermined a little while ago because I decided to give a fair shot to the remaining nine because, and I'm just gonna pull up the, the lineup as you can see, that is our lineup. So we have Luann Louis, Pete Wheeler, Sally Dobbs, uh, uh, Sally Dobbs, Ahmed Khan, Sydney Weber, Jorge Garcia, Ashley Weber, Ernie Steele, and then Ronnie Dobbs. Yes, Ernie Steele is our starting pitcher. There's a reason for that. We will get to that in a moment. So, so all in all, this is a good team, but why am I nervous? We will find out in just a second. But, just to give you a little surprise for the, C for the team name, we are... The junior. Dad tells us to be careful. Sorry. We are the junior bombers. And yes, if you're cringing at the background of the team photo, unfortunately, the random picker has selected Tin Can Alley. Literally the worst field in terms of hitting. Why? Because. Unless you hit one literally into orbit, you're not going to get a home run. So, the only person that has a good chance of that happening is Ahmed. And I've seen him hit balls into orbit. I mean, he, he's done that. He did that in 97. Did you see how far his home runs were in 97? If you want to if you want to go back and cringe to my older content, go for it. <laughs> but... This is the final nine. We got... Sat now, when you're looking at... Yeah, this is the final nine. When you're looking at our team stats, this is pretty good. You know, Sally Dobbs, great all-around player. And she can probably hit a couple home runs. Who knows? Ernie Steele, not the greatest hitter in the world. Has a pretty sweet swing, but in my opinion. Can't run real fast. He can pitch... But he's a really good fielder. Doesn't make a whole lot of errors, so that's good. He can be roughly your first baseman. But I have somebody else to be our first baseman. We'll get to that. Luan Louis. Great runner. Can make some decent contact. A good bunner, I should say. And she's a great pitcher in her own right. The only downfalls are fielding. But again, the, her, her, her pros outweigh her cons, honestly. So there's that. Pete Wheeler, he doesn't need any discussion. He's just one of the he's he's one of the goats of backyard baseball. If it wasn't for Pablo, he'd probably be number one. But Pete Wheeler, another great runner. He's not gonna lead off because if Luann gets on and she can steal, Pete Wheeler can just knock her in. We're up one nothing, just like that. His fielding's actually really good. He can he showcased that in the World Series against our mighty Melonheads. As he was basically bailing out that whole team. Next up, we got Ronnie Dobbs. Don't let these stats fool you. They're going to be shot to heck. Because, well, Sally Dobbs being... Ronnie Dobbs being on the same team as Sally Dobbs automatically puts her in the... In... Oh, crap. I'm going to suck. <laughs> to put it lightly, yeah. Ronnie, if it wasn't for the decreases... They would probably be our starting pitcher. So that's just me. And without the decreases, they don't make good contact. But if Ronnie makes contact, that ball's hit hard. I'm telling you. But 
Again, fielding, not that great, but she's in right field, or he's in right field for a reason. I'm just going to leave it at that. Right field, literally throughout, throughout our history, throughout the history of my series, right field has done the least amount of work. And I can, I can, here, just, <laughs> it's, the videos speak for themselves. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! We were at Ronnie Dobbs. And then you got the Weber sisters. Now, don't let these stats fool you. If they're on the same team together, guess what? They're increased. So, their fielding's a heck of a lot better. Pitching, running, batting, everything's improved when they're on the same team. My boy, Ahmed, of course. He was on the OG team in season one uh, in, uh, in Backward Baseball 97. Hitting home runs after home He had one heck of a second half, if I remember correctly. And I believe that's it. Oh, we have Jorge Garcia. Don't let the hitting stat fool you. It's not as good as you think. Running's all right. He could probably go in for an inning pitching-wise. Fielding is hit or miss. Although I, did, I have seen Jorge Garcia hit a couple home runs in my lifetime. So, it's not impossible, but good luck. So... We got the Webbers, and that's it. That's our team. So we are in the A the AL West. We were in the AL Central as the Melonheads, and then we were in the A and we were we were also in the AL West as the Rangers back in season one. So the Rangers are back. Anyway, we got oh geez, oh, well bye bye Mets. They disappointed so much last season. They said nah, get out of here. <laughs> Cubs, Pirates, Cardinals, Monsters, okay. Fishes, Rockies, Padres, Diamondbacks, Orioles, Red Sox, Blue Jays, Wombats. Bye, Yankees. <laughs> Tigers, Twins, Hornets, Indians. Or we should say Guardians, but when this game was released, it was the Indians. I apologize. I, I can't really fix that unless, I don't know, if it's somehow modded. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not good with that stuff. I apologize. I got the Bombers, Mariners, Angels, and Rangers. So, that is our that is our uh, schedule or our the divisional lineups. And here is our field arrangement. Pete Wheeler's gonna man center field. Luan Louise is gonna gonna anchor left field. Ryan Dobbs is gonna be on right field, all for good reason. And then Jorge Garcia will be at first, while Ernie Steele will get the start as our starting pitcher. So, if he runs into trouble, we have many other pitching options. We are not short of pitchers on this team, literally. Sally can pitch. Ooh, look at that. Sally can pitch. Ernie can pitch. Sit the Weber sisters. Luann. Heck, even Ronnie could probably go an inning with their, with their bad stats. Ahmed wouldn't pitch. Jorge can pitch an inning. Listen, we got options. Bam. All right, and now we're facing the Seattle Mariners who have Dimitri, uh, A-Rod, and they have a really good team overall. So I feel like this team... And Seattle's always played well. Like, like they've always placed well in... Uh, you know, placed well in... In terms of, you know, playoff seating and making the playoffs. I think... Yeah, I believe the Mariners have not missed the playoffs, like, at all. I, I could be wrong on that department. We got the Junior Bombers at the Seattle Mariners at Sandy Flats. Honestly, I'd prefer Sandy Flats over Tin Can Alley. Because at least you could have a chance to hit a home run in Sandy Flats. Although, Sandy Flats, you lose your energy a lot. So, hopefully... Ernie can play well, can pitch well, but we're batting first, so that don't matter. All right, let's play ball. Okay. All right, here we go. Luanne Louis will lead things off. And season four wants the starting pitch with Star Moonbeam. And here we go. We're underway. Here's a but. Uh oh, that might be too. That might be too hard. Star Moon be bad throw, and Luann is safe, and we are underway. I'm sorry, I forgot to. Boop. There we go, and here comes Pete Wheeler. What? What was the recipe I told you about? 
Luan gets on. Steal. Hit a touchdown. Yep. You took a page out of Chicken Little, my friend. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to get Luan to steal here. Ooh, that's a nice throw. Luan is in there. All right, Luann's in there with her first steal of the year. We're off and running. The 01. Swing. That's hard hit. And. Oh, A Rod. What a play. Oh, crap. Luann is caught and she's tug out. Ah, that was a nice play from A Rod. And that's out number one. And here comes Sally Dobbs. She's our catcher today. Although you might see this lineup be. Uh, Readjusted, it's especially with positions as well. All right, Pete, you know what to do. Time for a steal. And then for strike one, Wheeler's gonna go and he's gonna get there easy. Easy money, y'all. Easy. If I'm correct, the Mariners made it to the playoffs last season, but did, uh, were not able to advance. Here comes the pitch. It's close. That's up the middle. Pete's gonna charge for third. Sliding. Oh, he's tug out. Wow. A-Rod anchoring shortstop. Not letting anybody go. Great play. And here comes Ahmed Khan. Two outs here in the first inning. All righty. Ahmed Khan stepping in. Here comes the pitch from Star Moonbeam. Trying to get out of this inning. Swing. Oh, I should have let that one go. Is that going to drop? No, it is not. Good play. And that's out number three. Side is retired. We got hits, we got steals, but nothing to show for it. Here comes Gail Weinman as Ernie Steele will get the start today. And here we go. The first pitch for Ernie Steele is in there for a strike. Good pitch. Good heat pitch, buddy. Ernie Steele has a good slow ball, a decent left hook, a decent right hook. He just doesn't like the heat, but he wants to throw it. So the 0-1 to Gail Weinman. Swing, that's a little... A little chopper. Sally's got it. Throw to first. In time. That's out number one. Jorge Garcia will man first as Ernie Steele gets the start. Here comes Alex Rodriguez. Just imagine if we make the playoffs. A playoff game in Tin Can Alley. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. So Ernie trying to pitch around A-Rod. Here comes the 2-1. That's a little grounder right to him. He's got it. Takes his time to throw to first. In time for out number two. Two up, two down for Ernie Steele so far. Good stuff. And here comes Libby Futterman to step in. She's a good hitter. All right, the one, two. Swing. That's hit to the right side. Ahmed's got it. Waiting for the player to go to first. He does. Throws it away. Oh, no. Not what we needed there. Oh, a bad throwing error. As the inning continues. And that's Fade Austin. What kind... Really, guys? All right. The one-two pitch. God, are looking to end the inning. All right. Good stuff. All right. Ernie Steele gets through that error. Ugh. And here comes Sydney Weber. The Weber sisters getting their first crack here. But the two-one. Swing. That's hit to the right side. That's hit well. That's in the hole for a hit. If Sydney could get the first in time, she will. And so, Sydney Weber gets a leadoff single. And here comes Jorge Garcia. Watch that outfield cringe as I step up to the plate. With the swing we're about to see, ah, uh, they're cringing at you, my guy. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Swing, oh! That's it into the right, to the center. Oh, good throw. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, Sydney. Oh, this was my fault. Slide! Oh, the double play. Oh, boy. That's going to come back and bite us. Oh. Mistake after mistake. I got to remember, these guys are really good fielders out there. So, here comes Ashley Weber. That's ball one. Want to know? Now, I have seen my, uh, I have seen the Weber sisters hit home runs before. Swing. That's it to the left side. Dimitri makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. All right, the 1 0. Swing. That's a little grounder. Ernie's going to charge. Oh, it's going to be a tough play. Throw to first. Scooped up by Jorge. Good play. 
At number one. All right. And here comes Dmitry Petrovich. Season two World Backyard World Series champion. He was also MVP of the, a of the NLCS. Swing, that's a little grounder. Sally's gonna charge. She's gotta throw the first in time out number two. And here comes the 2-2 two -two from Ernie. Swing! And a miss, got him. Second strikeout of the day for Ernie Steele. Good stuff. Comes the pitch. Oh, got under that one. A-Rod gets under it, makes the play out number one. And here comes Ronnie Dobbs. Oh, boy. We'll talk about automatic out right now. It's it's I'm him. Going to hit this one 200 miles. Uh, okay. I, I, I like your confidence, Ma, uh, Ronnie, but... Oh, that's hit to the left side. See, when they make contact... Does it? Oh, first baseman couldn't handle it, but with Ronnie really slow and uninspired because Big Sister's on her on his team, he's out. And here comes Louie and Louie. We had a bunt base hit last time. Damn back, always bunt with Louie because I always like to utilize her speed. And that's outside for ball one. Want to know? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the 0-1. And, ooh, that's actually a pretty good bunt. Luan will make it to first. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. All right. Good stuff. Comes the pitch. Oh, that's a slow ball. We are going on that one. We won't even have to slide. And second steal of the day for Luan Louis. Or from Star Moonbeam. Going for the bunt. Oh, that's a beauty. Go, go, go. Everybody's going to be safe. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> and you best better believe that Pete Wheeler's gonna go for second right here. Here comes Sally Dobbs. I'm gonna get home run this time. Oh, that'd be lovely. Sally Dobbs. Oh, that's too juicy. Oh, that one's hit well into left center. And that's gonna drop. Everybody go. Luann's going to score at least. Pete Wheeler's going to round third. And he will score. Two RBI single from Sally Dobbs. There it is. Big two-out rally coming in here in the third. Here comes Ahmed. All right, the 2-1 from Moonbeam. Swing! That one is crushed. Oh, baby. That is up, up, way up. And that'll be a ground rule double. R That's an RBI. Three nothing bombers here in the third. All right. That's a big two out rally. Trying to get out of it. Comes the pitch. Swing. That's a little blooper. A-Rod makes the play. The throw to first. In time. And that'll end the inning. But a big three run inning. All right. All right. The 3-1. Ball four. That's a walk. Ah, not a good, not a good at bat there from Ernie. As he could have retired, uh, what was it, seven straight there. Here comes Alex Rodriguez, and here, here we go. This is the problem that we have here. A Rod, a decent hitter and a runner, so comes the pitch from Ernie. Ball one. He has not found the zone at all this at bat. These last couple at bats. All right, the 1-0. Swing, that's a screamer! Luann, oh, she blocks it. Oh, that's got to hurt. That's going to leave a mark later. Throw it to the cutoff. All right, if that was the worst of it, we'll take it. Well, here comes the pitch. Swing, that's driven left field. Luann, back, back, makes the catch to end the inning. Woo! The 2-2 two -two from Moonbeam. Swing! Ow! Swung right through that. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Star Moonbeam. Here comes the 3-2 to Faye Dawson. Ball four. That's another walk. Man, I don't remember walking this many batters in a, in a season, guys. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swing! That's another screamer! Pete's good it. Here it comes. Oh, that might be two. Wait, oh, she didn't tag the bag! Oh, boo! 
How did she not tag the bag? Oh, umpire, she was right there. Nah, all right, the one one. Swing, that's another screamer. And that will be gone. Oh, it takes a favorable hop. And Dimitri will have a two run homer and it's three two now. Oh, geez. Ah. Uh. Not, not getting that double play is looking bad, y'all. Instead of 3-1, it's 3-2, and... Oh, man. Dimitri says, hey, remember me? I was a, a, a NLCS MVP, and that he was. Pitch number 51. The 1-2 one, once again. Swing. That's a hard hit ball. Ooh, Ashley will back up Sydney. Throw to first. Scoops up. By Jorge, and that's out number two. Good play, good play. <laughs> Considering our home field, swing, that's... Hit into, into left, Luan makes the play. Good adjustment, and the side is retired, but Dimitri gets two runs back with a two-run home run off that screaming line drive. He got height on that thing. All right, the 1-0, looking for the bunt. Oh, that looks like a butte. It is. Luan's gonna get there. So, going for the bunt. Oh, that looks good. Pete Wheeler. Everybody's going to be safe. Runners at the corners with one out. And we have Sally Dobbs, who was responsible for two of our runs. Batters one through three are... Oh, she got a load of that one. Might not have, and Len will go. Pete Wheeler looking for number three. Yes, runner scores. <laughs> RBI single from Sally Dobbs. They couldn't catch the ball out there, but regardless if they did or not, Luann would have tagged anyway. And we have a big insurance run for us. Now, we could, if we could get three more from Ahmed, that'd be fantastic. Comes the pitch. And the first strike one, Sally's gonna go. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, they were smart. The pitcher took it. The pitcher ate the throw. All right, all right, all right, all right. See what you're doing. All right, all right. Pitcher's like, uh-uh, I'm smarter than that. Swing, oh, he got a load of that one too. Oh, that's going over their head. Yes, everybody takes off one run scores. Here comes another from Sally. Ahmed's gonna round second. He's gonna have a triple. He's gonna have it inside the Parker. It's six to two. Ahmed, he might as well coast here. A three run inside the park home run. Seven two. Much needed. There we go. Woo! We needed that one, y'all. The two two. Swing! The miss got him. That's strikeout number three for Ernie Steele. was having a solid outing outside that two-run home run. Oh, no. It, it, it's honestly up to you guys. I'll be uploading this weekly. Swear! Oh, God, I'm looking. A-Rod's like, ooh, you froze me. I'm out here. He's put in five solid innings. Five strong. Swing. That's a little blooper into right field. That might be a hit if Ernie can hustle. And... No, it's thrown away. Go, Ernie. Go, Ernie. Go. Get a double out of it, Ernie. Ernie. Ernie's first hit is a double off an error. All right. All right. Not too quick on the base paths. Comes the pitch. Swing. That's it to the left side. A-Rod's going to field that. Throw to first. In time. That'll end the inning. As we head to the bottom of the six, leading 7-2 to with Luanne Louis on the mound. Luanne's got her... But she's got it. Luann makes the play. Takes her time to throw to first. That's out number one. All right. 1-0. Swing. It's a little grounder. Sally will charge. She's got it. Throw to first. Scooped up by Jorge. And it's out number two. And Star Moonbeam will be the last hope for the Mariners here. Is Luann Louis trying to seal an opening day victory? And I think we will. Sally, throw to first. In time, and the Junior Bombers, with the help of a four-run, fourth inning, I believe, yeah.
gets the dub. Seattle Mariners came back with a with a little bit of a scare there to make a 3-2, but we came up with four unanswered runs to make it 7-2, and that's all she wrote. Ernie with five strong innings, two earned runs, four strikeouts, and two walks. Get rid of the walks. That's a fantastic outing. So, yeah. So, that will do it. Oh, it was a four-run fifth. I apologize. Four-run fifth inning. But uh, the Junior Bombers get it starting off on the right foot. Winning at a rough field. Or, or a tough field. I mean, we have a tough field for seven games at home. So, <laughs> And we got the Wombats with a big win over the Blue Jays. The Red Sox absolutely crush <laughs> the Orioles 11-3. Got the you got Cleveland winning against the Hornets. As the Hornets got off to one nothing one nothing lead, and then Cleveland said, "All right, we're, we back." Whoa, 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 whoa! Reese Worthington on the Hornets. Okay. Wow, the Twins walk it off against the Tigers. One nothing in the seventh. Okay. And the Rangers with a with a f down six nothing after the first inning, come back and win the game seven to six, including a four run fifth inning to pa <clears throat> to power themselves over the Angels. Wow, that's crazy. And the Marlins hold off the Phillies three to one. The Melonheads completely destroy. <laughs> The Braves, Chipper Jones gets the loss. A six run fourth, golly. And the Monsters hold off the Cardinals. The Cardinals jump out to a four nothing lead. Or no, a five nothing lead. And then the Monsters scored seven right after. Good lord. Marky Du Bois with the pitching win. <laughs> All right, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Ooh, walk it off for two runs in the eighth. A two-run homer. Wow. Pirates are 1-0. And the Diamondbacks with a walk-off win. We got quite a few walk-off wins here. As the Diamondbacks start 1-0. And then the Rockies scored one. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Kimmy Ekman with the, as the winning pitcher for the Rockies. What in the world? <laughs> Wow, okay guys. All right, a solid 7-2 win, good stuff. This team can definitely hit. This team can definitely score runs. This team can field, this team can pitch. We have the recipe to win well, to win big games, but when your home field is Tin Can Alley, nothing is guaranteed. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This has been Rob's Game Corner. Um, every Saturday at 12 o'clock noon, be here, because I will be there. Be here. 12 o'clock noon, and I will be um, uh, premiering stuff. Sorry, couldn't find the words. I will be premiering each and every one of these episodes or in the each and one of these it's gonna be a weekly weekly thing the playoffs might be like a, a, a twice a week thing who knows if we make it you know you never know oh we're making it <laughs> at least <laughs> all right y'all thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it um that's all i got so a solid win and uh and once again this has been rob's gaming uh, bleh, rob's gaming corner Signing off, and please stay safe out there. Bye-bye.